welcome i am going to attempt to use the audio from here fingers crossed it all works well this is the fabric we're going to use and it's really pretty it's a, like a black lace it's absolutely gorgeous i've had this cut for a while i probably bought it somewhere like sample because it was so pretty and <clears throat> never did anything with it so i'm gonna make a top okay let's get it i have some patterns that i have made from over the years over time um i'm gonna use them obviously just double measure it as well so you will need a measuring tape you're gonna need some cutting utensils something to mark out your fabric this is the yellow is always the best it shows um obviously got a longer stick as well and i have some scrap black fabric with the top what i've done is drawn off my off the shoulder top blouse if you have a top or off the shoulder top or a tank top which would be perfect and then you can kind of square off the neckline because that's the neckline that i'm going for once you've kind of drawn out your armpit the length on the side length for the top this is like three inches below like my bust so maybe like where these points are is where my boobs would be i'm also going to add seam allowance around this because this is not straight this fabric is actually not straight here so i might have to just drop it a bit because okay nine and a half yeah we're going to drop it to 11. So if you measure like your neckline, um, where it would rest, your neckline, measuring your neckline down. Oh my God, yeah, 11 is quite long. 11 is just above my belly button. So let's do that. Let's do 11. And the main thing about corset is that it's in pieces put together and the seams then um, are given strength by boning to then form onto the woman's body shape. I love that about corset, I really do. So we have the front piece done and we're going to move on to the back. Here is the back and here's the front. I've divided the back into three pieces. The fabric has no stretch, okay? So I'm gonna add a zip as well somewhere. <laughs> Probably in the side, because the back, I have the right edge put it on the fold as well as the front. The front is gonna have six pieces. The back will have six pieces. And I'm just gonna cut this out. Bam, here we see it. So that's gonna be trimmed a little bit more so it can line up. I actually recommend you pin your fabric, okay? This lace is not as slippery, it's quite sturdy. It has um, tool at the back of it, silk tool. Um, now, now I'm going to pin these darts slash seams and see how it looks. I also need to transfer this on the other side because this is just a fold. You can see when we turn it out, bam, here's the full top. So I just need to bring those in and I will show you what it looks like. Very quickly, rough mark my center. So this line to here is two and a half, and that is two and a half. As I've now cut these pieces, I'm glad I marked that because I know that's the center. What I'm gonna do is pin it right now. So I'm gonna pin like the further, the furthest one. Just pin it, basically pin it back together. And we're gonna sew the seam so that's why it's important at the beginning to make your top bigger than i don't know if you was using a tank top to kind of measure this out you need to make it twice the size more like one and a half to be honest
this is the front piece beautiful beautiful seams look at them so we sewn it together now so this is the front and this is the back gorgeous this is the back piece but this is like the inside and then that's what's going to be on the outside this is the back piece now look at that it can be trimmed it's going to be evened up i think the back piece can come in a bit more so when i kind of just put this on myself the fit was beautiful however when i measured it this thing is telling me it's a whole five inches bigger than my body but whatever we're gonna sew it together now sew together one side so as i've done each of the seams i'm gonna now sew together one side and the other side we're gonna add a zip but now insert the side zip it's so pretty so i've hemmed the front and i used to do the back and i've also attached the side zip really cute so i'm gonna leave the bottom of this with this jersey sorry not jersey scuba black stretchy fabric we're gonna cut it about three inches wide the length is an inch smaller than my waist so it's definitely gonna clench in i'm not sure again how it's gonna turn out but we're gonna go for it so this is now the waistband this is this was a long strip i've cut it out and i've attached it at um the raw end now it's a loop and now with the loop we're just gonna make sure this is flat while doing this make sure this is flat and we're just gonna fold it in half everything else should kind of follow with that and have a neat edge at the bottom and then two raw edges at the top and these two raw edges these um two raw edges at the top that's what's going to be connected to the top okay so how i've also cut it is i want it slimmer from the back and then kind of bigger towards the front so this is going to match up with the center back So the first thing is to meet the back with this. Then it's the front. Then Stretch out to the side. 